All right, YouTube, uh, as the uh, title suggests here, I'm going to show you the lowest skill way I know to open a stack on gun cabinet uh, without a key and without damaging it. And uh, basically what we're going to be using is auto jigglers. And um, I did find some of these on the internet. I don't know where I bought these that I've had them for years, um, but I, I'll put a link to uh, something you can buy a set of these things. So basically have these and then the second half of the set. Now I've always had mo more luck. Now uh, with this style, I've opened six or seven of these saves, and uh, one of these has always worked. It's essentially just going to be trial and error. And you will also need a uh, some kind of tension tool. I'll put a link to this uh, Z bar as well, so you can uh, you, know, you can buy one of these, or you can use a small screwdriver, but it's just a little bit harder doing it that way. So uh, enough talking here. Let me uh, go ahead and head to the uh, closet where my cabinet is, and I'll show you how to get it open. All right, guys, I'm in my closet here where my uh, cabinet is, and I have lubricated the lock. Uh, I use TriFlow. Um, you can use, you know, I mean, in a pinch, WD-40 or Houdini or whatever uh, lubricant they sell at the hardware store. Just don't put graphite in it, whatever you do. And uh, so in this process here, I um, mean, we got two sets of keys here. Uh, this set, uh, you don't need a tension wrench for any of these. Uh, this set, you do. So uh, I'll show you the set first here without needing a tension wrench. And basically, you just um, want to put this, put these in and jiggle them kind of up and down, in and out, while you're putting a little bit of turning pressure towards the direction the lock opens, which is going to be away from the frame here. You'll we'll be turning it clockwise. And uh, just be careful, you don't want to break one of these tools in here, of course, but that's essentially what we're doing. Now, uh, this set, they look like they're all the same on both sides, so you don't need to flip them over. Uh, the other set, you do want a few. I'll, I'll show you that here. Um, assuming we get to that set. All right, not real scientific here. You know, you're just kind of putting it in and uh, just shake it around while you're putting a little bit of turning pressure on it. All right, so that's that whole set. Now we'll switch to the second set. And this one here, see they're actually split down the middle. So you'd have to, and they're real thin, so you have to use a tension wrench to put tension on it. You won't be able to turn the lock. And one thing to pay attention to also, some of these are different on the top and bottom. See, it's different on the top and the bottom here. Uh, if you do have one that is different, uh, make sure that you try it both ways. Uh, because, you know, with the key here, uh, the, you know, the key is cut different on the top and the bottom. So the top and the bottom are not the same. The key is only gonna go in one way. So you got to make sure that if it's double sided, you try both sides, or if it's just different on both sides. I mean, you know, with these, you're going to put tension on it here. I'm just using my finger, just lifting up to turn it clockwise and insert the tool and just kind of jiggle it up and down, in and out while varying the turning tension that I'm putting on the tool. And we're just trying to set all the wafers here and have the lock open doesn't work just let off tension so the lock resets flip it over make sure that you try both sides if indeed they are different All right, and with uh, number five here, uh, we actually got it open. So that's what that one looked like, but uh, you just wanna keep trying here. Um, like I said, I've, all the ones I've ever tried, I've gotten them all open uh, using this method. Uh, but if you do wanna see them single pin picked here, click the link on the screen. And then you can also, uh, once it's open, the key's lost, you can turn, zoom out here. Yeah, you just lock it back. So 
now it's locked open so you don't get locked out of it again till you buy a new lock or order another key and like i said i'll put i, I did find a link to these things so i'll put a i'll put a link to the uh, tension tool into these auto jigglers and uh if you guys have any uh, questions or comments i'll put them in the comments uh, if i can help i will and uh, that's all i got on this one uh, yeah that's really it man we'll talk to everybody later